the documents and records policy. So the documents and records policy looks at the control of information security management system documents. So there are certain things that we're going to do with our documents in terms of markup um, and control of those documents. The policy is laid out in such a way uh, that we've got the purpose, so the control of documents and records. We know the scope, um, which we're setting to be documented information required by ISO 27001 and the ISMS. This scope can be expanded uh, wider to more organizational wide documents. The principle that we're working to is that documents required for the information security management system are controlled, managed and available. We're looking at what we do when we create and we update information. So we've got on there identification, we've got description. So our documents are going to have a title, a date, an author, are going to have a reference number. We're going to look at the format in which we provide the uh, documentation. So a lot of the ISMS documents that we build on based around Microsoft Office. Uh, so you've got Word documents and you've got Excel documents. We are saying in the policy that the availability of our documents is always going to be to provide the latest approved version. What you're going to see within the policies and documents if we create them is a version history and the version history is going to include um, when that document was last signed off uh, at the management review meeting, the date that it was signed off and it's going to link directly back to the management review minutes uh, of that meeting uh, where those documents are going to be recorded and proved to be signed off. So that's just kind of like um, tying that loop off. Document storage. So the policy is saying that we're going to store them uh, where people can see them. Uh, live documents and records are held with relevant department folders. So what we see is that the processes and the procedures are going to be maintained within those individual departments. Documents are available. We have version control and we have uh, approval. So we have the process about how those policies are controlled. Uh, that they are approved and um, we set approval to be the management review team. We maintain that version control and we have some information around the XY numbering, so the, the, the major version control. If this is your first implementation, we're going to set everything to be version 1, so it's nice and clean and nice and tidy. Every document is going to be version 1 and that version 1 pack is going to be approved and signed off at the management review meeting. So we have a piece around operational uh, documents and records. We've got example records. We're talking about preservation for legibility. We're looking at obsolete documents and records. And we're looking at documents of external origin. Document classification is covered within the information classification and handling policy. Uh, and here we're making a call out to that and saying that documents are classified in line with that. Again, if it's a, an implementation that we're doing, 99% of the time we're going to go with a basic confidential internal uh, and public uh, three-tier classification, keeping things nice and simple. And at the end of the policy, you have your standard policy compliance. So we're looking at how we're measuring compliance, that we're allowing exceptions and how we do those. We're looking at non-compliance and we're looking at continual improvement. So that completes the policy for documents and record management. If you're doing a review of this document, you're going to go through and just make sure that everything in there is aligned with what you as a business can do. Uh, again, this is represented as best practice. Thank you.